Sabres hosting the Lightning, and the Lightning are minus 160 on the money line. The Sabres are plus 175. The over-under is six and a half goals. The Lightning laying a goal and a half are plus 150 on the puck line, while the Sabres getting a goal and a half are minus 182 on the puck line. Both of these teams are on losing streaks. The Lightning a three game, the Sabres a two game. Now, before you bet on this game, understand that these are the overnight odds. They're going to change before a puck drop happens tomorrow. Use a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casino's pricings in one place so you get the best bang for your buck depending upon what side of this game you want to bet on. And if you're looking for in-depth stats on how these teams are playing against each other, go to Covers.com. It is totally free and they pretty much do every sport. Now, head-to-head, -head, the road team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The Lightning are 8-2 and two against the Sabres in their last 10 meetings. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two goals or more on the puck line, laying a goal and a half, is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-goal games in their last 10, including the last two games they played against each other, both of which went into overtime. The over has hit in their last three games. The over is 7-2-1, and one, and the over 6.5 goals is 7-3 and three in their last 10, which is shocking because the Lightning have one of the best goaltenders on the planet, and yet somehow when they play each other, these games go over. The last game that they played, the Sabres won 6-5. The game before that, the Lightning won 6-5. The game before that, the Lightning won 5-3. The game before that, the Lightning won 5-0. So seemingly, in their last handful of games, the winner scores at least 5 goals. So there's food for thought. Now, in their last handful of games, the Lightning are 4-6 in their last 10. The over is 6-4 in their last 10. We've had 9 goals. We've had 5 goals. We've had 10 goals. And we've had three goals. The Lightning have scored three plus goals in three out of their last four games. They scored one against the Panthers. Seemingly, the Panthers are their kryptonite this year. Now, for the Sabres, they've lost their last two. They're five and five in their last 10. The last three games they've played have gone over, and the over is eight and two in their last 10 games. They got shellacked by the, the Bruins, seven to one. They lost to the Blue Jackets 5-3, they beat the Capitals 7-4, and they beat the Panthers 3-1. So they, they've they been scoring a little bit more consistently than the Lightning. I'm going to take Tampa with the money line, I'm going to take Buffalo getting the goals, and I'm going to go over. Seemingly the pattern lately is when these teams play each other, the games are close and they go into overtime. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.